University of Mumbai MCOM SEM 4 Corporate Financial Accounting Question Bank Solution Topic MCQs Part 4 Parent company share in post acquisition profit is added to Option B Cumulative Reserve The correct answer is Option B Cumulative Reserve Parent company share in post acquisition profit is added to Cumulative Reserve Holding company is defined by Section Dash of the Companies Act 2013. Option B 46, Option B 87, Option C 42, Option D 57. The correct answer is Option A 46. Holding company is defined by Section 46 of the Companies Act 2013. Holding company share in revenue profit in subsidiary company is adjusted in. Option is shown on asset side of balance sheet. Option C, cost of control. Option C, profit and loss account. Option D, goodwill. The correct answer is option C, profit and loss account. Holding company share in revenue profit of subsidiary company is adjusted in profit and loss account. Unrealized profit on goods sold and included in stock is deducted from option A, capital profit. Option B, revenue profit. Option C, fixed asset. Option D, minority interest. The correct answer is option B, revenue profit. Unreleased profit on goods sold and included in stock is deducted from option B, revenue profit. Dividend paid by a subsidiary company out of prerequisition profit are option A, adjusted against investment in subsidiary at the time of consolidation of account, option B, adjusted against general reserve at the time of consolidation of account, Option C, credited to profit and loss account as revenue receipt at the time of consolidation of account. Option D, ignored for consolidation purpose. The correct answer is option A, adjusted against investment in subsidiary at the time of consolidation of account. So, dividend paid by a subsidiary company out of the prerequisition profit are adjusted against investment in subsidiary at the time of consolidation of statement. Eighty-one, intergroup balance and transaction resulting in, unreali in unrealized profit. Option A should be eliminated in full. Option B should be eliminated to the extent of holding company share. Need not be eliminated. Option D eliminated to the extent of management think appropriate. The correct answer is option A should be eliminated in full. So intra-group balance and transaction resulting in unrealized profit should be eliminated in full. Vijay Limited acquired 60,000 share of rupees 10 each in Manoj Limited on 1st September 2028 at cost of rupees 6 lakhs 50,000. The share of capital profit of holding company and minority interest was rupees 2 lakh 50,000 and rupees 1 lakh 25,000 respectively. The goodwill capital reserve will be. So you have to calculate this in the form cost of investment so if you can see the cost of investment given is six lakh fifty thousand less value of a share okay so if you see the value of the share is sixty thousand share of rupees 10 that is six lakh and then you have to deduct capital profit the capital profit if you see it is two lakh fifty thousand uh, two lakh fifty thousand so if you see the value of a share plus capital profit it's like eight lakh fifty thousand and cost of investment is six lakh fifty thousand so in the cost of investment is less than the uh, less what uh, whatever shares and capital profit you are getting that's why you, uh, the amount which is going to be reserved will be capital reserve and if it is more then it is a goodwill so here the cost of investment is less than the value of share and capital plus capital profit then you will be having the capital reserve of rupees 2 lakhs next problem sum sk limited acquired 70000 share of rupees 10 each of dk limited total share is 1 lakh on 1st April 2022, at the cost of rupees 9 lakh 25,000, the share of capital and revenue profit are, are a certain at rupees 1 lakh 90,000 and 2 lakh 70,000 respectively. The minority interest is amounted to. Okay, so you have to calculate here the minority interest. Okay, so minority interest, the value of share. Okay, so in SK Limited, which is a holding company, is having a 70,000 share. So minority company, that is DK Limited, will be having the value of the share 10,000. 10, uh, yeah, 
uh, 1 lakh minus 70,000 that will be 30,000 okay and the value of the share is 10 so it will come to 3 lakhs okay so value of share in minority is 3 lakhs then you have to add the capital profit so capital profit you can see here in minority it is 1 lakh 90 thousand uh, sorry capital and revenue profit is one lakh ninety thousand and seven lakh uh, two lakh seventy thousand so minority interest if you take the ratio it is seventy thousand share of sk limited and 30 so ratio is or ratio of minority is three so one lakh ninety thousand into three in divided by ten you will get fifty seven thousand revenue profit two lakh seventy thousand into three in into three divided by ten eighty one thousand equals to rupees 4,38,000 okay so total amount so minority interest is 4,38,000 okay so you have to just take the share value ratio of the share value add capital profit and revenue profit ratio uh, to minority interest and you will get your answer MCQ number 84. H Limited is the holding company of S Limited. The closing stock of S Limited is rupees 2,60,000 included goods of rupees 75,000 purchased from H Limited. H Limited invoice good at cost plus 25%. The unrealized profit is. So here the formula for calculating is that H Limited is a holding company of S and the closing stock of S Limited is 2,60,000 included goods of rupees 75,000 purchased from H Limited. So H Limited invoice good at cost plus is 25%. So formula is what? How much goods are not included or purchased from H Limited? It is 75,000 into 25%. So cost plus profit is 25%. So divide by 125 you will do, you will get the answer 50,000. Okay, 50,000 will be your answer. So 75,000 into 25 divided by 125, the answer will be 15,000. Revenue profit for consolidation financial statement are profit of. So, revenue profit of consolidation profit is what? Post acquisition profit of a holding company. Okay. So, revenue profit is post acquisition profit of the holding company. And capital profit is a pre acquisition profit. Next FCQ. If the amount of investment of holding company in subsidiary company is less than the nominal value of share capital acquired by the holding company, the different represent general reserve, option B capital reserve, option C goodwill, option D securities premium. The correct answer is option B capital reserve. If the acquisition is on the last day of the current accounting year of the subsidiary company, its entire balance in the reserve shown in the closing balance uh, sheet of the current year are taken as cost of investment, option B minority interest, option C capital profit, option D revenue profit. The correct answer is option A cost of investment. If the acquisition is on the last day of the current accounting year of the subsidiary company, its entire balance in the reserve shown in the closing balance sheet of the current year are taken as a cost of investment. MCQ number 88. ACT Limited with 80% share of SKR Limited supply group to SKR Limited of rupees 50,000 with a profit of 10% on sale. 40% of the good are still in the stock of SKR Limited, the unrealized profit of stock. So here the calculation will be like 50,000 into 10%. Okay, so you have to take the uh, goods amount 50,000 and the profit is how much 10%. So you will get it 5,000. So you have to take 5,000 into 80% because the ASD limited is 80% share. So 80% is how much? 4,000. And the 40% of the good are still in the stock of SKR limited. So 4,000 into 40% you will get your answer 1,600. So this is where you have you are going to calculate your um, answer for this question. So the answer is. Reduction in the value of fixed asset after the date of acquisition should be treated as capital profit, revenue profit, capital loss, revenue loss. So here it is reduction in the value. So we will take it as a revenue loss. The correct answer is option D, revenue loss. Reduction in the value of fixed asset after the date of acquisition should be treated as revenue loss. 
included in the stock of subsidiary company are goods to the value of Rs. 48,000, which were supplied by holding company at the profit of 33.13 on cost. The amount of unrealized profit is option A, Rs. 6,000, option B, 4,000, option C, 3,000, option D, 12,000. The correct answer is option D, 12,000. You just have to take 48,000 uh, into 33.13 one third on cost and you will get the answer option d 12000 detail of a subsidiary company reserves rupees 8000 8000 equity share of rupees 10 each owned by the holding company 80 percent cost of investment in subsidiary company by holding company rupees 150000 the amount of goodwill is Option A 27,800, Option B 47,200, Option C 107,800, Option D 55,600. Now here the calculation is the cost of investment. So cost of investment of holding company is 1,50,000. Then less share capital. So we have 8,000 equity share of rupees 10 in which the share capital is of 80%. So you will take 8,080%. That is 6,400 into amount uh, amount of share uh, per amount uh, of share that is 10 that is 6000 uh, sorry 64000 then lease reserves so reserves are how much 80000 so 80000 into 80% 80 that is 14400 so your if you add this 64000 plus 41400 and deduct this from the 150000 uh, then you will get the answer 71600 which is your goodwill so goodwill will be 71600 but in the answer the correct option is not given so please check your answer the time of internal between the time interval between the dates of balance sheet of holding company and the subsidiary company can be up to one year, cannot be more than six months, can be more than six months, can be more than one year. The correct answer is option B, cannot be more than six months. So it should be within the six months you have to uh, make your balance sheet, holding company and subsidiary company balance sheet. The internal gap should not be more than six months. The statement as per AS21 is option a optional option a mandatory for listed companies option c mandatory for private limited companies option d partnerships form the correct answer is option b mandatory for listed company preparation of consolidated statement of s21 is for mandatory of listed companies mcq number 94 parent company may consolidate dash only domestic company option b only foreign company on option c both domestic and foreign companies option d joint venture the correct answer is option c both domestic and foreign company parent company may consolidated both domestic and foreign company dash is a company which has one or more subsidies correct answer is option a parent parent is a company which has one or more subsidies Question number 96. HPCL Limited acquired 75% share in SR Limited. SRS Limited supply to HPCS Limited good of the invoice value of 50,000, of which 60% of the goods were still in stock of HPCL Limited. SRS Limited has made a profit of 10,000 on goods sold to HPCS Limited. At the time of preparation of consolidation of balance sheet, the adjustment is 2. Option A, correct answer will be option A, it's reduce 6,000 from stock account. How? You have just have to take 60% of 10,000. Okay, so 60% of 10,000 is 6,000. Okay, so you are going to reduce 6,000 from stock account. Next question, holding company holds 60% of its subsidiary company share on 30 October 2020. The profit and loss of the account of the subsidiary company show a debit balance of Rs. 1 lakh on 1st April 2020 and credit balance of Rs. 50,000 uh, 50, on 31st March 2021. The share of a holding company in capital profit during the year is... 
so now how we are going to solve it very simple this is okay so profit and loss account of a subsidiary company show a debit balance of 1 lakh on 1st april 2020 okay so from october 2020 till 1st april you have total 5 months but you don't have to take this 5 month but you have to take the months before it okay so it will be 7 months okay so from before october it will be 7 months because total 12 months so from october till april it is 5 months so you have to take the uh, months before 38th October. Why? Because that why uh, 38th October it's a subsidy company share has been taken by the holding company. So you have to take the period or you have to take the duration before it. So it is seven months. So you just have to take this debit balance of one lakh into seven divided by twelve means seven month before October 20 and divided by twelve month into sixty percent because they have given the hold they a holding company holds sixty percent of a subsidiary uh, company plus fifty thousand so credit balance is how much fifty thousand so same into seven in divided by twelve into sixty percent so one lakh into seven divided by twelve thirty five thousand and plus fifty thousand into seven divided by twelve and into 60 percent you will get 70,500 uh, so in this way you will get your answer 52,500 so correct answer is option D 52,500 next one included in creditors of subsidiary company are rupees 75,000 for the goods supplied by holding company option A less from debtors and less from creditor Option B, less from inventories and less from reserve. Option C, add to debtors and add to creditors. The option D, add to purchase and add to creditor. The correct answer is option A, less from debtor and less from creditors. Okay, so included in creditor for subsidy company are rupees 70,000 uh, of goods supplied by holding company. You have to less from debtors and less from creditors. Next question, the debtor of A limited include rupees 25,000 owned by B limited at the time of consolidation. You will, the correct answer will be reduce 25,000 from both debtors and credited in consolidation balance sheet. Okay, so same like 98 MCQ, this is also the same one. Just reduce 25,000 from both debtors and creditor in consolidated balance sheet. Then uh, question number 100, the debtors of A limited include 7500 owned by B limited at the time of consolidation. So same answer, reduce 7500 from both debtors and credited in consolidation balance sheet which is there in your MCQ number. Uh, in the option B. So B will be your correct answer. Reduce rupees 700 from both debtors and creditor in consolidated balance sheet. Okay, for the next part, please prefer subscribing and click on notification bell icon. Thank you.